Hey, it's Boca the Cry here, back with you again for another video on Facebook ads. Now, if you haven't watched the first video yet, I really highly recommend that you pause this video now and watch that video first because there's a lot of good information in there and I know what's gonna help you understand as we dive into today's video because we only barely scratched the surface talking about how to bring your interest-based Facebook ads to the next level. So in the last video, we spoke about the three biggest mistakes that most Facebook advertisers are making uh, right now. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix these three mistakes so it will help you if you watch that other video first. And the reason why I know that almost all Facebook advertisers are, ma are making these mistakes is actually pretty simple. And it's not because I think I'm some sort of genius that you know um, realized these three mistakes while nobody else did, but it's actually because uh, after I discovered these three mistakes, I started looking into fixing them, how to solve those three mistakes. And there's just no way. There's no way we, you could actually fix those. Not using the Facebook Ads Manager and not using any third party tool. And I mean, to me, that didn't make any sense, to be honest. So my team and I took on the challenge to develop an application that would fix these three mistakes at an instant. Now, don't worry because there's nothing for sale today. Um, but in order to show you uh, my Facebook ad campaigns and how I've been able to solve these three mistakes, I'll need to show you this tool on my screen for in order for everything to make sense. So the tool is called Connect Explore and won't be for sale until January 4th. But more, about, more on that uh, in just a second. So a while ago, I wanted to run more interest-based Facebook ads in order to promote and grow it viral, which is our platform to run viral contests and giveaways. Now, the only marketing, the online marketing space is obviously super competitive. So I knew I had to do things smarter than everybody else, which is why whatever even made me realize these three, these three mistakes in the first place. Now, one of, what I wanna do in this video is I wanna show you the process of how I set up this whole campaign, which so far resulted in $7,000 in sales while spending $3,000 on Facebook ads. Now, granted, I had to do some testing in the initial period, which costed me a good chunk of my ad spend. So if I wouldn't take that into account, the ROI would actually be way higher, but I don't wanna inflate the results or anything like that. So altogether, including all the tests that didn't work, I spent $3,000, which resulted in $7,000 in revenue. And to, just to be clear, this was to a cold audience, cold and cold audience, people who never heard of me or a viral, uh, which is the type of audience that's known as being really hard to convert instantly. Now, best of all, this is all uh, recurring income, so the ROI is actually gonna keep on rising once the rebuild started to kick in as well, because I only included the initial purchase that people actually made inside of those uh, revenue numbers. Now, that's pretty, pretty cool, right? So the first thing I needed to do is find interest to target. Now, I didn't want to spend a lot of time on this, so I used some pretty cool tricks for that. I'll show you, I'll show you on my screen. So one of the things that Connect Explore helps you do is it helps you find interests that you wouldn't be able to find using the normal Facebook Ads Manager or Audience Insight tool. So let me just give you an example. So for example, if I would enter the keyword nurse, uh, maybe I want to add some related keywords like nurse maid, for example. Um, and then you know it works for any kind of language. For now, I'm just going to go for English. I could add some search extensions, which I'm not going to use right now. But if I hit search, and even just for those those two keywords without any any other uh, search extensions or anything like that, I already have almost 400 results, which I obviously can filter right here, right here on the left hand side. Uh, so we pre-analyze all the results, and you can uh, include certain words or exclude certain words to make sure you know the the results that you find here are exactly what you want. Now you can obviously add them all to your uh, to your interest list, which We'll show you right here uh, from where we can actually uh, we'll give you more even uh, more suggestions based on these that we think are highly related so if you click this it will give you even more results outside of the things that you entered as a keyword and you can apply them to your facebook ad set uh, by clicking right here now what i did for this specific campaign the one that i just uh, was talking about was just talking about is i use the page shirt so what the page shirt does let me just show you that by giving you a, new and a similar uh, example so uh, if I were search for nurse and nursemaid, what this will do, let me just hit search. And as you can see, it actually searched for all the Facebook pages that it can find for these keywords. And while doing that, you can actually filter so you will just see those that have a matching interest. So if you select this, then instead of seeing all the Facebook pages, you'll see exactly from which Facebook pages can actually be targeted using Facebook ads. Now, while doing that, we have something really, really cool um, that I wanna show you. And that's exact, That's actually what I used for this specific case study. So if I just um, go for a new search, and what I did was I searched for, in this case, lead pages. Let me just uh, search for that. 
And I then use this feature right here, which we call the explore function. And what it will do is if I click this, let me just head over to the lead pages, Facebook page. And as you will see right here, just like many Facebook pages, they have liked a lot of similar pages. So if I clicked liked by this page right here, you'll see a ton of Facebook pages that they have actually liked. And what Connect Explorer will do, it will check all of these pages one by one to see if they can actually be targeted using Facebook ads. So let me just head, head back to Connect Explorer. And if I scroll all the way down, let me just go here, and I select only show the pages with matching interest. So I will not show uh, see any of the pages that cannot be targeted. And right now I see all kinds of pages that, you know, outside of my, my own interest, or sorry, outside of the, the search keyword I entered, but all kinds of pages that, I mean, lead pages did all the hard work. They have liked all these pages, so I know they're relevant. I can then just select all of those that I think are highly related. And from that, what I did was uh, after I, ha I made my first selection, I went into my selection list and I hit the show suggestion to find even more. And that's all I did. Like instead of spending hours on research and, all, and anything like that, I just used all of lead pages pages and I used that into my own uh, to basically find all the interest using this simple feature. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now that I had a list of interests to target, I realized that Facebook's ability to distinct people who are somewhat interested or maybe even just liked a page by accident versus those who are actually really interested isn't, isn't that perfect, to be honest. So instead of relying on Facebook's ability to make that decision for me, I decided to give my own swing to it. So while doing that, I, actually, I run a split test to prove how well this really works. So I created two different ad sets. Uh, in one, I used Facebook's way of targeting, and on the other, I gave my own swing to it so we can all see exactly what the impact is of this. Now, on the first ad set, I applied all the ad sets as you'd expect. Let me just draw that actually. And on the second ad set, I broke up my list of interest into three groups, like that. So I divided them randomly over three different layers of targeting. And that means this means that instead of targeting everyone who Facebook thinks is actually interested, I'm now targeting only people who are inside at least three of those interests right here. So I'm basically targeting the overlapping segment of each group. And by adding enough interest in each of those groups, you'll still have a large enough audience to scale up your campaign. So let me just show you on my screen how I set it up and what the exact results are of this, uh, of this split test. So from a didn't connect explorer, I can easily add all these interests that I just found uh, to my Facebook ad set by clicking on apply all to ad set. So what I did in this example is I added all of these interests to one ad set um, initially. So all these audiences will actually be targeted. And then on the other ad set, I actually did this. So I uh, created multiple, multiple layers like this and I divided everything randomly. And now what this will do, it will actually target everyone who is inside of any of those interests, as well as anyone inside of those interests, uh, as well as inside any of those interests, which means that only those who are inside at least three of these audiences will actually be targeted. And I added this, uh, this targeting to a second ad set that I created. So let's head over to the Facebook Ads Manager right here. And as you will see, the mixed interest, this one is where all the audiences are added uh, just normally, basically. And this one is where I added it using layering, which means that I have three layers and uh, you know it's basically more targeted and using this exact system that I used uh, showed you here. So as you can see right here, uh, I spent at this point, I spent 288 euros on each or 289, which is roughly $300, $300 something like that. And as you can see right here, the total conversion value, the amount of sales that we did for this one without layering, it's zero euro. It's insane. It didn't even convert a tiny bit. However, for the mixed interest with layering, it converted at 848, which uh, let me just do a quick search is roughly 885 US dollars. And I mean, this to me is just insane. Just the exact same ad, exact same interest. All, all I changed was added some layering to make sure this audience is more targeted than this. It's the same same audience or the same interest, but just the more targeted, um, the, the more uh, targeted people inside of those interests instead of just targeting everyone inside of any of those interests. And as you can see, the results are shocking. So yeah. That's pretty impressive, right? By simply adding these kind of layers into my targeting without making any further changes, the difference in results is, I think, pretty, pretty spectacular.
Now, so far I showed you uh, some ways to find interest for uh, interest to target on your ads, as well as how to target only the most inner circle group of people from all these audiences. And next, I wanna show you how you can measure with certainty which interests are working for you. Now, normally, like I said in the last video, the only way to discover this is to set up a bunch of different ad sets and apply only one interest to every single ad set. And this is just a hassle to set up and manage, especially if you're targeting, for example, 50 different interests. Now, Connect Explorer changes that because using Connect Explorer, you can break down your, your statistics for every Facebook ad on an interest per interest basis. So all you need to do is select your Facebook ad and it will show you the, the statistics for every interest that you've been targeting. So here's the cool part. If you see any of the interests that are not performing as well as you'd like, you can remove them from your interest targeting in just a single click, making sure your campaign will be performing better and better over time. And that's how we did it as well. We added a bunch of interest into the same ad set. We removed those that weren't performing at all. And later on, we just created separate ads for, for those, you know, basically for the big winners of our campaign. And this way you can easily test out all your interests without having to spend any time on it or losing money on interest that you shouldn't be targeting in the first place. And as I already showed you in the beginning of this video, it's using this exact formula that we, that we turn $3,000 in ad spend into $7,000 recurring revenue to a super cold audience in a highly competitive market. And if I can do it in this market, then rest assured that you can do it as well. Now, as you can probably tell, I'm super excited about Connect Explore, which is going live on January 4th. Now, obviously there's a lot more under the hood, which I'm gonna show you once it's, go once it's going live. And to celebrate the launch of this brand new platform, we're gonna do a one-time special offer for the first few days only. So. If you wanna get access to a lifetime license of Connect Explore, make sure to subscribe so you, you'll be informed the minute it goes live. I'm looking forward to it and I'll hope, I hope you do too. Talk soon.